I'm Fear Agent. Joining me today is Drossy. This could be it. This could be the finals right here. The uh, the OK dudes are up two games to one. They need one win. Games Gone Wild is going to be representing here for game four. Uh, they were the higher seed, so uh, they actually don't get to choose this mode. Dante chose this mode being the lower seed. Uh, Pucks come in, I think one loss uh, more than, than the OK dudes. So game four, lower seed gets to choose. It's Dante. Everyone knew Dante was going to run this, and you knew what Dante was going to pick. And that was swordless. So here we are. We have uh, we have it all on the line. Drossy, you ready for this? Yeah, um, looking forward to seeing what happens here. Uh, it's kind of interesting too that you know Dante's dropped a number of um, courage pendant races, Kaz boots uh, during the course of these playoffs, and then has always come back to win Game Four. Uh, so the question yeah. is, will he? keep that trend continuing or is this the end for pugs i mean ggw is just on a streak uh you know taking down gamma chu twice is no easy feat uh beating dante is no easy feat and uh and the okay dudes have just been uh, more than okay so should be fun i uh, got a little bit of a rivalry here there's a little bears packers action going between dante and ggw no love loss here uh, between these two runners these two teams so it's going to be action-packed let's just say that yeah and looks like lynx house is a good start with the bombs right off the bat and we have three regular crystals in the light world three regular crystals we got a little bit of uh, uh uncle routing here from dandy uh ggw uh gonna do go from sank so swordless it's just open We're basically just plain open but this is league swordless so What's the difference? There's only one bow, right? And it's bow and silvers? Yeah, that, that you, you get the bow and silvers as a single item. That's nice. Which also means no bow locked bows because there's only one of it. Oh, right, right. So uh, Dante getting those bombs from Link's house, but uh, GGW getting 10 in the mushroom spot. Oh, and that's actually really nice uh, glove there from the uncle. Or Uncle Chess, I don't know which one that was. But uh, yeah, now he can take Uncle those himself. Okay, take those bombs and that glove and check the back of escape right away. So that, that's gonna be that's gonna work out really well. So Dante, known swordless lover, right? Like league admin. Uh, right. And now now there's a swordless mode. In well, the what's interesting is is his opponents <laughs> were picking it against him anyway in the playoffs. Yeah. I found that uh, very interesting. Both Kermit and Shady Force did, as you mentioned, that this time around it was actually Dante's choice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, GGW, no stranger uh, of making his opinion known on some of these modes, does not like Swordless. I know he's put in some practice, though, just so you can be familiar with doing things like Aga uh, with the hammer. Uh, those are things Speaking you. Speaking of Aga, we just found an early lamp uh, sitting in the back of the skin. Yeah. So we got Bombos, and, and for Aga, you only need what? You don't need a sword, because there's no sword to cut the the, the, the curtain there. Uh, so you need, well, does Hammer break the uh You need barrier? either Hammer to break the barrier, or as always, Cape to go through it. Okay, okay. Um, got Bombos and Mushroom. We'll see that Mushroom probably turned in earlier than later. That Making Mushroom being a big <laughs> item, uh, in their last match uh, with these two teams here between uh, Andy and uh, Hitzian. Funny, you mentioned Mushroom and Dante immediately goes into the Mushroom Forest music. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. yes, uh, Mushroom Turning uh, was Boots in that last race. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was a big one. Hitsu had Boots for about 50 minutes longer than Andy and won by 42 seconds. Yeah, it turns out Hitsu just needs someone to skip an item against him, and he's guaranteed to win it. All right, so got money for Bottle Vendor, uh, just a heart piece. Really looking for a weapon, right? You really want that hammer. Um, bow would be nice. Hookshot, of course, would be really great, too. Yeah, though I'd say hammer is the most key. Yeah, for sure. Blue mail's nice. Yeah. Uh, Bugnet is also going to be something to be to be on the look for as well here. 
makes uh, those Aga fights uh, a lot easier. Yes, I, I've heard one of your teammates has a noticeably easier time on uh, bug net Aga fights than hammer Aga, Aga fights. <laughs> yeah, Gamma Chew's uh, uh, Aga 2 with the uh, nice, no bottle GGW. Uh, G, uh, Gam uh, what am I talking about? Too many Gs. Gamma Chew's fight against Aga 2 was one of the worst things I've ever seen in Rando. <laughs> And honestly, even during these playoffs, we've seen... Oh, Ooh. you were saying about the hookshot. Guess they're behind yeah. the boots. Yeah. Um, but e even during these playoffs, we we've seen some runners uh, have some trouble with Swordless Aga 2 fights. And uh, Hammer, Hammer Ganon is actually not too bad. I think I actually prefer Hammer Ganon to... Master Sword Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's easier to just do a hammer hit than to deal with all those spins. Yeah. All right, so still no weapon. Uh, GGW could take these 10 bombs and make his way through Hyrule Castle. I wouldn't be surprised to see that happen. Picks yes. up his glove. Trying to think where the seed's taking us. Uh, we do have logical access to Death Mountain, but without either hook, the hookshot or the mirror, we can't do too much once yeah. we're there. It looks like we're going to see the uh, the front of Hyrule Castle from GGW here. So one of the benefits of doing this with an item that can get you through escape. And they do have a small key. I don't know if we saw the map in the back. I don't think so. That could still be in Dark Cross. Do you think Dante just goes south from here? Either that or Death Mountain. An early Death Mountain play, since you're going to want the save point anyway, uh, could, and you know that you're not getting the hookshot imminently anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, it looks like he's just going south. All right, let's see some bomb escape action from, from GGW here. Pretty uh, easy setup to get the the guards here. Oh, oh, that is huge. <laughs> well, there the boots. Huge. Okay. There's the hook shot. All right. I guess that makes the mountain a bit more attractive. Yeah, I think what you don't want to see is like mirror hammer in uh, in mini Moldorm cave because <laughs> that kind of accomplishes the same thing as the the hook shot wheel here uh, that GGW will pick up now that he's got those boots. So only has to deal with one more guard here to bomb, and then you can use the pots in the uh, ball and chain room. All right, there's the map. So there's an item in Dark Cross. There's our first sword. <laughs> I was thinking what you also don't want to see if you're Dante is like Hammer and Moon Pearl, because then you have Dark World access. Yeah, that's yeah. Far away. Yeah, if you're rooting for the pugs, you really want like the moon pearl to be behind the hook shot, right? Then he's going to be forced to do the front of escape here to get those boots. If you're rooting for for the okay dudes, moon pearl hammer in mini moldarm cave is going to be big. All right, mini moldarm cave heart. Heart 50 bucks in the cell. There's our first bottle. Single arrow and 20 bucks. 20 rupees, so pretty empty. Yeah. I think I think they're gonna get funneled into the hook shot. I think that's kind of where what what the progression is gonna be. So I think Dante will get there sooner rather than later, though he might go do Eastern before front of escape. With Dante, I, I can't make predictions because I never know how Dante's gonna <laughs> route something. Yeah, I'm I'm a little surprised he's doing Ice Rod Cave here with the long walk and with you know the I mean flipper. his options are so bad right now. Fake flippers out of the question yeah. i think getting uh ice rod cave here makes sense if he had the flute i maybe understand skipping it but uh, we are going to do one more check that uh, dante didn't do and that's dark cross second, second sword. sword is this is this hard mode is the league swordless hard no, mode or no. okay 
Okay, so those are swords then. Yes, uh, you're only going to see uh, green 20s if they're swords. Is Dante going to fake flipper anyway? Wow. All right, just a heart container. That's all of escape done for GGW. And just pick up those boots, so that, that's pretty big. Just, like, what do you fake flipper for? Just hobo? And check the island? Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. Because I guess hobo. We are so far from Zora money. That's out of the picture. We don't have Moon Pearl to do um, Waterfall Cave. Just some money on Hylia Island. Yep. Do you think Yanti goes Saha Eastern first? Do you really want to dip Eastern? I mean, he knows that Hookshot's available as soon as he finds those boots. It's just a matter of where do you find those boots for him. That was a really long hobo check that I don't think we're going to see from GGW. Now, he does have the boots, so he could set up the water walk and check uh, the the waterfall fairy. Uh, looks like Dante is doing Saha's closet. No? All right. Buying more uh, bombs? Buying yeah, more bombs. Sense. I mean, it's the only thing he's got. I was wondering how GGW is going to get through here, but he's got the hook shot, so no, no problem. But really, are you going to do Eastern on bombs, assuming there's no weapons? I think you have to. It? I think you have to. Well, I, I, because I, you think Dante has to instead of Front of Escape? I mean, you're all the way over here, and you're choosing either either both choices are kind of rough since he's already walked and done uncle I, I, I feel like you just commit to east, the eastern play alright what does Saha uh, have for us GGW of course having a oh there is the moon pearl oh no but wow. Dante okay. is out so he is gonna I'm thinking to escape Nope, going up the mountain. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you're choosing... Okay, so he's choosing two checks over the two, possibly, and possibly three in Eastern. And a no a tough choice. escape. Uh, here's the thing. is Dante also knows that he's racing against GGW, and GGW is known to make some pretty aggressive plays. So I feel like... Well, one, I'm surprised that he did the, the fake flipper to Hobo. That's so slow <laughs> and something that uh, I guess he knows that GGW is probably not going to do. Yeah, I don't know. Or do you think Dante's just going to route this normally and not worry about who he's racing? Honestly, knowing Dante, I, I feel like he's just going to route this normally. I, I mean that tendency to not um, worry about who he's racing cost him in the first match between these players uh, where he got the out of logic titans mitts in on Zoro Ledge and that wound up leading him to a whole lot of checks that didn't get him anything. Yeah. Well, GGW waited for the flippers and by that point he was basically in go mode. So I think GGW is actually probably going to join him up on the mountain here. Obviously, a lot, lot more incentive because he's got the the hook shot. He's able to do the hobo check quite a bit faster. Looks like just a blue ruby. Yeah. Yeah. So Dante knows he has to do either escape or eastern or Agena, escape? but I, I don't think you're gonna walk all the way over to Agena. Yeah, I think escape. Okay. Uh, since he's yeah skipping eastern makes. Uh, makes the Hyrule Castle play make sense. Because then again, now now Eastern's kind of your last location. Yeah, so the runners will converge on the mountain. GGW will be there a little bit sooner. I mean, I mean he's gotta go he's gonna go through all of escape and he's gotta choose to whether or not he wants to do Dark Cross, so that's another save and quit. Um and then he's gotta go get the hook shot so at this point, GGW's got a pretty nice lead. Well, but uh, Dandy you know, doesn't have to go through Old Man Cave again. 
That's true. But GGW gets to dash, you know, do dashing through most of it, so. Oh, and there's uh, Bonkrox. We didn't even talk about yeah, that. That's right. Bonkrox is over. I mean, it's still super early, right? We, we, we need a ton of items. So it's, I'm not saying that it's over, but GGW's got a clear lead. Uh, Uncle Rat uh, Routers are in shambles right now. <laughs> oh, and here's a Lumberjack check, which we haven't seen yet. Well, here we go. Nice bomb strands there. Oh, just a shield. No Aga 1 today for that item, at least. And we're just a glove or hammer away from Dark World, so... Right, and... To say basically, we'd need game. the cape to show up to even think about Aga 1, because if the hammer shows right. up, then we have Dark World access. Right, right. I mean, it might be one of those funny, like, uh, logical Aga Dark World access, where you have to you know, get the cape. Logically, you're supposed to go, like, get the cape out of Paradox or whatever, and... No, never mind. Never mind. Because they still have no way to do Aga 1. Alright, so there's the Death Warp. Gonna get his heart container from Dark Cross. I imagine GGW's gonna check Spec Rock. Yeah. I just wonder how aggressive you can be. I feel like GGW is, is an aggressive runner. And being up a game means he could probably keep with that aggression. Uh, Dainty, you know, playing game down. Is he going to play just standard or is he going to be aggressive as well? I mean, GGW's play is always aggressive. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, one thing you can be guaranteed of, if GGW gets to the Eastern Big Chest and has two items he is going straight for the boss he is not doing the yeah. um big key chest if it burns him it burns him is this oh dante's got to go get his hook shot still yeah he and he'll do bonk rocks on the way and there's, and there's the hammer. hammer on the mountain okay no agaseed All right, so Hera is now completable. And is a crystal. Really nice health uh, loadout for, for a Swordless Seed. Now we have Zora money, too. Oh, well, let's see if Sickit has anything, because uh, GGW doesn't have a bottle. Where did that bottle come from? He must have it, right? It was Yeah, in... it was in Mini Moldorm. Yeah, he must okay. have it. All right, nothing from the sick kid. I did not see what was up there. Uh, I was junk. Oh, okay. But we, we do have a full hair play here, now that we have the hammer, which in Swordless is the only weapon that can be Moldorm. Chat saying that GGW actually filled that uh, bottle at Waterfall oh, Ferry that's right. and got blue goo. Yep. That's right. Shout out to our tracker today. What's up, by the way? Big props to them for uh, for doing the tracking today. So, Dante's hammer is incoming. Yep, and he's going to just be doing the same uh, same plays. Here. I mean, it's pretty linear at this point. You've got yep. your Dark World access. You just do what you can on the mountain and then head for the Dark World. Right. So of course, where you enter the Dark World can make a difference. Like right. I, I feel like Dante's probably going to do Hype Cave first. I feel like GGW is probably less likely to do that. Okay, he skipped the big chest. Did I miss something? 
Um, I wasn't counting items. I mean, he got a key out of it. There was a big key, and I didn't know what the, what the other item was at the bottom. If it was a nice that was cover smooth. there by Dante in lieu of setting up the bomb jump as GGW takes down Moldorm for his first crystal. Okay, so I think there's two two items left, maybe. There's one in the basement for sure. Uh, I saw. I thought I saw a heart container in there. No. Okay, so. Yeah. Chat's saying item in big chest and basement, so that's uh interesting. Covering is actually a requirement to use the pug sprite. I mean, we. Did you know I just lost the race right there by uh, missing a chest? We'll see what happens. I'm sure Dante will check it here. So where do, where do you start uh, if you're with these runners in the dark world? I mean, I personally kind of like the um, I like the hype cave start because you know if Skull Woods turns out to be a um, crystal and fire rod is in hype cave, then you've just uh, given yourself, you know, a little extra um, room for uh, clean routing when you go yeah. to village area. All right, but so we all know Skull number... Woods is always a pendant, right? Oh, for sure. Bailout number one, uh, 10 arrows in the big chest. Now the question is, do you think Dante does the basement? Because there is an item down there. Ooh, five, oh. six in Skull and Mire. Our other two crystals are Thieves and Swamp. And Ice is the green pendant. Yeah, pendants all on the right side. Interesting. Is, is Dante going downstairs? I don't think so. I mean, you have Dark World access at this point. But we might do um, Spiral Cave. GGW didn't do Spiral Cave, did he? He did. He did. Oh. Here's the mirror. Okay, Hype Cave, definitely a good way to start out the Dark World. Yeah. Really good to help out routing. We got a book. Still can't complete Desert, though. Oh, no, we can. We got yeah. the one. Never mind. Yeah. We've got a glove. We've got... Okay, Dante is doing the basement here. Interesting. Nice little Hype Cave. Must know that there's no way GGW would do the basement. Yeah, there's no way GGW would do the basement here. When you have Dark World access... Uh, coming off of the mountain yeah i mean there's so much open wow dante Ooh, almost got knocked out of the coffee break uh didn't want to like it. all right k45 a fire rod okay so i was saying if you can find the fire rod this way before going to crystal oh, skull man. woods i mean ggw's just been hitting the route through the entire playoffs I mean, he's been getting jet seeds the entire playoff. That's the other crazy thing. Yeah. Like, his first race against Dante was um, at 115 and change, and that was his longest race the entire playoffs. And there it is, just a heart piece. That's a, the time sinks that Dante's making are just not paying out early on. And I, I, I gotta tell you, when you're playing GGW, you can't lose all this time. At least not if it's a Jet Seed. I mean, so what do we need? We need Flute, Mitts. Bow. We need Flipper, Bow. Samaria. Yeah. So a decent amount. But we do right. have um, four crystals available already. Yeah, so you can do Thieves Town, Skull Woods. Uh, you can do the North Route if he wants. Uh, we can do Deserts, an option as well. What's the other one that we could do? Oh, we've Hera. already done Hera. Yeah, yeah. I really hope Dante, uh, for the sake of this race, starts at Hype Cave as well. Okay, it looks like he's going to do that. Once we find flippers, we can do swamp. Once we find bow, eastern, and pod, though, how much of pod do you want to do, right? All 
All right. This uh, this uh, Super Mario RPG MSU is just so good. Yeah, it's too bad TR is a uh, pendant because I do like the TR music. Well, it, we still might need to go in there. I don't know. If we <laughs> that would be pretty awful. <laughs> All right, so there's the uh, the mirror for D and D. Take a look at VOO from GGW. Hundred bucks. There's the mitts. Wow, this seed. I'll tell you something that GGW is not gonna do, and that's the Smith chain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that was one of the things Dante wound up wasting time on last time. Oh, Dante gonna check out uh, Bombo's tablet with the uh, with the hammer. The book can do that. I wonder uh, if he's you... just gonna flat out do desert. Yeah. Do you actually need the hammer or just the book? I always um, forget. You need the hammer to okay. pull a tablet. Okay. You don't need the hammer to use a medallion as long as you're on a medallion square. I see. So you could open up Misery Meyer if you didn't have the hammer then, right? If you had the medallion, not the hammer? Right. Okay, and so he's going to be missing out on that fire rod. That's uh, that's a little rough. The Mambo's tablet not giving him anything. Uh, GGW already into Thieves Town. I mean, maybe Dante pulls Bow here in Desert. Yeah, but maybe that leads him to pendant pod, right? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's the whole A B C D lesson, right? Always be clearing sure. crystal dungeons. Yeah. All right, so nothing really in the front of these town. Small key. All right. Desert. It's going to have our big key for sure, and then we still have two items here. There's one of them, Dancing Mirrors. Uh, Drossy, let me ask you this. As an admin, how has the league season gone for you? Did you um, say the season it's had five ups has and been? downs. <laughs> has it been a successful uh, season for you guys? I mean, apart from the obvious snags we hit that everyone knows about, uh, it's gone yeah. pretty well, I'd say. Uh, the playoffs yeah. have certainly been uh, nice and smooth. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of game fives in the open. Uh, Once they got past the first couple of rounds. <laughs> sure, sure. I think that's our third sword there at the top of uh, <laughs> of these town. And Dante not finishing desert. He got both items. Knowing that he needs the flute uh, for the seed, can come back and finish it later. There's no reason to do it now. This is going to work out well for him, though, using this portal, because I assume this means he's going to work back over, unless he's going to pod with... No, okay. He... No? Right? Left? Does he going... make up his mind? This, this, this tells me he's going right. Nope. No? He's just fooling all of us. So he okay. will get his fire rod is the short. Wanted to go the long way. Yeah. All right. So not much in these town so far. Big key chest, just the heart piece. All right, Dandy gonna pick up his fire rod now. That's good for him. GGW almost through Thieves Town, and then I imagine we'll be heading straight up to Skull Woods. So what are we looking for? Ice is a pendant. I guess bow or flippers would probably be our next progressive item. And GGW does have the mints. It's not on his tracker, but he did pick it up in the village, right? All right. Interesting setup. Uh, keeping the uh, maiden on the right side of the screen there. Very so far, nice really uh, clean. script with the hammer. Yeah, really clean. I mean, GGW has clearly taken the time to learn 
how to do the blind script with the hammer. And as I say that, he misses it and blind gets away from him. <laughs> yep. That's all it takes. All right. Down goes blind. All right. So the problem for Dante here is he's just behind, right? Like he's done desert, but we know that there's nothing in there that, that really gave him an advantage. So GGW do that at some point. Uh, he, he's kind of just following GGW's footsteps here. We need he, we need him to do something different. Yeah, well, I mean, he's made some extra checks. If any of those were to pay out, it would swing the race. Right, but they haven't. That's the problem. All right. Nothing in VO except for those mints. You know, we could get a ped check in conjunction with uh, doing uh, Skull Woods whenever that happens. Yeah, I'm a little surprised to see GGW doing this one. I guess if you're going to do any part of the Smith Chain, this is the, the, the fastest one. Though you can't dash through the, uh, the peg since we don't have a sword. Yeah, definitely no item dash and swordless. Ooh, the cape. <laughs> oh, something that's my clearly least... on Bumper Ledge. It's not like GGW's <laughs> yeah. any... Ever won I a hate race by checking bumper ledge. Yeah, bumper ledge can uh, can go somewhere. All right. So, is it gonna check it first? Probably. That I mean, that kind of isolates graveyard ledge. So again, I don't know if GGW even cares if he isolates graveyard ledge. Thanks, Jim. What King Sumi can do if he does like a save and quit from True. Oh, he's gonna He's gonna do Great Village now. Huh. This is interesting. Putting off Skull Woods. I, I guess that way you can end your route at the back of Skull Woods. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so Dante's going to make his way through Thieves Town. Nothing really here that I can remember. Our first shield. <laughs> GGW Bad. picking up the shield. Hey, man. Got to gotta be able to deflect uh, those uh, Aga 2 blue balls somehow, right? <laughs> King's Tomb, and now I imagine he heads up to Skull Woods. So North Dark World was just a bust for all that, but Dante's yeah. probably going to do it. Given how do you think Dante does Smith Chain? Oh yeah, he could do Smith Chain instead. I mean, Dante's been very thorough. Yeah, but I mean, one of his few opportunities for a time save here is if he doesn't do North Dark World. Yeah, that's true. They're not going to get Mirror Shield today because one of the shields is on the Lumberjack ledge, so at most we'll get that Fire Shield. Alright, so since since you've got the Fire Rod and the means to kill Mop, you definitely, and you're going to save and quit from here, you go front to back for sure. Hoping for maybe a key here. Big key works. And now you can check that first item right off the bat. <laughs> of course, big key leads to small key. <laughs> right, of course. So two items here. That's not one of them. That's the compass. Front is absolute junk so far. There's the map. Okay. So again, Dante could, you know, go straight. If he like goes straight to the back of Skull Woods after this. Yeah, it's possible. Or, you know, okay. don't, uh, don't do that. Yes, we need the front of Skull Woods. <laughs> yeah. Do not just go to the back for sure. Well, I think if you do do the back first, you then come around and do the front because you won't have gotten both items. Yeah, you can skip the next two checks, though, because those have to be small keys. The last item being on Moth. 
All right, so now you got some options. Uh, if you're GGW, where do you go next? You have no more well, clearable, I guess maybe desert? Yeah, I was gonna say, Meyer's not an option because we don't have the flute. Maybe Dark Death Mountain, you have uh, six checks up there. Can finish that off with, uh, with Spike Cave. And you're hoping not, oh man, GGW trying to save some hearts, ends up losing, I think, four <laughs> hearts in the process. Yeah, he's not going to be very healthy on that moth fight. Well, he does have the blue goo, though. Yeah, I, I think he might end up popping it. Anti getting through the blind fight there as well. Oh man, going, going, you know, happens so often is you go for a heart and you end up losing two hearts along the way. Yeah, cue the Benny Hill music on GW's mm -hmm. side for that. Yes, I'd be very worried if he didn't have a potion, but he has a potion. I think he's actually fine. And yeah, <laughs> just four hammer hits. Ridiculously yeah. clean. Like, the spikes were really well behaved, too. Sometimes you just yeah, can't yeah. help what the spikes do. What what item did Moth drop? I didn't even see. Nothing? 50 bucks, I think. Oh, okay. Nothing good. Really clean Moth fight there. Now, there's a possibility that Dante does back to front and then does Graveyard Ledge uh, afterwards. Yep. <laughs> Which is going to be particularly painful because he doesn't have Samari to make the middle easy. Yeah, let's take a look at what Ped has. It is just pocket change. No need for that today. And yeah, it looks like uh, GGW is going to head up to the mountain. A lot of free checks here. So, so GGW, as always, just seems to be hitting the route. This is ridiculous. Oh, he's just, is he just going to do Spike Cave? He's got the mirror. He can come around. He wants to do Ether Tablet, I think. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Still probably would have done the Dark World checks first. Maybe he's going back into Hera. Who knows? I, I, I'd be surprised. All right, so nothing, that book is basically worthless here, as all books are, right? Readings for fools. I'm just kidding, by the way. <laughs> That's true. The book has gotten us exactly nothing, nothing and we've done all the checks we can do with yeah. it. Bombos for, for TR, you think? Um, how Bombos about that? <laughs> and, and you know, Drossy, they can get all the way through it. Yeah, they can do everything kill but try next. Yeah. How far independent TR do you go? I think you you got to do, you got to do Hookshot Cave and... and oh, absolutely. Birds. That's six easy checks. Both, both our runners putting up really nice uh, hammer moth fights. You play enough cross keys, you do that enough, anyways. You get enough practice with that. Nothing in Super Bunny. All right, so we do not want to see a save and quit from Dante. You can check the pet and everything; that's fine. But you do not want to see him save and quit because he definitely needs that cane of Samaria. Yeah, well, he knows there is an item at the front. All right, he's going back. Oh, oh there's the ice rod. <laughs> well, I guess Trinex is available. Yep. The blue boomerang as well. 
I mean, it really does feel like it's, I mean, it's giving you everything to do TR. You have to go in. Like, there's probably, you could just probably hit go mode here, right? We need, flip, yeah, we need flippers, we need bow. Especially, we, we don't have any other crystals available. I mean, GGW has desert, but that's just two items. Yeah. Okay, so is Dainty going to do bumper ledge and stuff? He didn't pick up that uh, cape. Where was the cape? Hammer pegs. Oh, right. All right, so we see a small key and a big key. All right. That's what you like to see on that side. Yeah, if you're doing go mode, I, I feel like <laughs> if, if uh, you're still looking for items, I'd rather just see the items here. Because you're gonna do the, you're gonna do all everything, right? You're gonna do lava chest. You're gonna do the yeah. big chest. You're gonna do mimic cave. So it doesn't really matter. I mean, do you, do you just out. full clear TR looking for an item at this point? Yeah, you're here. You're committed. I, I, I think you have to. There's just too much. And if you find something, do you then mirror out or do you finish it? Thinking that there might be two things in here. I guess it all depends on if there's an item on Trinex or not. If there's not, then you just leave it, right? I'm saying if you find something in Lava Chest, you do the rest oh, of it. Oh, that one's tough. I get maybe flippers. Or in Mimic Cave for that matter. Yeah. If you're at Mimic Cave, then you're basically almost to Laser Bridge, so I feel like you gotta at least... <laughs> you realize, if we weren't looking for items, this is the God TR. Yeah. Of course. We, we got three small keys in the front and the big key. Alright, so Dante being very, very thorough. And uh, doing all these checks. Not going to continue past this one because he didn't save the portal. So I imagine we'll see him up on the mountain here as well. I mean, your other options are ice or dungeons you can't complete. And ice isn't even logic without the flippers. So. Ten arrows. I was thinking since Dante isn't getting the cape for the time being, the cape is a lot less useful in Swordless because yes. you, you need the hammer most of the time and you can't cape and hammer at the same time. Yep, yep. chat asking looks like a tracker miss mark there skull not swamp that dante's done we can't have done swamp we don't have flippers yet <laughs> right is there any way that dante skips tr no right uh i can't imagine just uh, again given the relatively small amount of choices here what do you do otherwise? Dip Eastern without the bow? Dip Pod without the bow? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, there's a heart container. To answer a question about Dante and Desert, since he knows he's gonna have to get the flute because Meyer's a crystal, um, he didn't need to particularly finish Desert after he got two items. Remember when you said you were sad that we weren't going to hear the TR music? <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get our nice jig <laughs> on here. Yeah, yeah. It's a hoedown. Ah, there's the flips. And at this point, you continue. You're, you're at Laser Bridge, right? Yeah. So. There's still a compass. You're kind of hoping no compass on on the bridge. You'd like to see the compass on Trinex so you don't have to make the decision of, of killing him or not. Uh, is not oh, GGW might be out. Okay. It was oh, it's just last enough. bit of magic he was able yeah. to. <laughs> Turn at the say, same other, time. Otherwise, <laughs> you, burn, you, you have to burn the blue potion there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that was. 
He was really excited to get to the middle and hit that switch. All right, in to TR for Dandy. And again, we're kind of just on this linear path here. Um, and GGW's ahead entirety of TR, so. And here the cape is actually a bit useful. All right, there's our key that we need. Don't want to see a compass. 50-50 now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, of uh, course. Thinks about it. He's going for Oh, he's going for it. Yeah, I mean, you're so in, right? Like, you got the ice rod and everything. Right, we already know from the ped check, we don't need Trinex's pendant from anything. It's not a green pendant. Which means you can also mirror as soon as Trinex uh, explodes and the item drops. Right, you don't even have to pick the item up for sure. Or the, the pendant. So may maybe Dante feels behind and mirrors out after getting the flippers. That would be a play. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if, how far behind Dante would actually, actually feel. It's like, I mean... He's been thorough, but he's on the path, right? GGW's got to be careful. Well, he's not getting the item You were now. saying about careful. <laughs> uh, he's definitely leaving here, so. Is Gamma Chew in chat? Uh, yeah, I saw him in there. Okay, just checking. See now he's holding up here mentally. <laughs> Chat wants the bow on Trinex. I mean, that's that's game over. <laughs> I, there is a possibility. Pluto on Trinex would also be game over. Yeah, any, anything on Trinex that's that's progression is game over. Uh, there is a possibility that Dante skips it, but I don't know. Yeah, Dante's you, been you so just get thorough, too curious right? by the game giving you the ice rod right when it did. Right. What's funny is like, you know, hammer Trinex is pretty common even outside of Swordless, right? Like, yeah, you've got it, Master Sword, which is very common when you're fighting Trinex. You're just using hammer instead, or, or even the occasional Fighter Sword Trinex, which is even worse. right, right. So that's just nerves getting to GGW at this point. I mean, I'd say nerves are getting to both of these runners. Dante's definitely shown a bit of shakiness in a couple of spots as well. Yep. So we also have the the option of a medallion being necessary for Meyer. So that, you know, those are bow, medallion, flute with on Trinex would uh, end this race for the OK dudes. But that's all we need, a bow and a flute and potentially uh, a different medallion for Meyer. Yep. Okay, so the first check was an item. If, I'm just wondering, I'm wondering the left side swamp situation, right? You're, it's GGW, I can't imagine he's doing left side. Yeah. There's the flipper pickup for d &T. also really doesn't have much in the safety department and he's not getting any yeah. safeties geez yeah all right there's a map so we do have an item on the left side i, I can't believe dante didn't go for the safeties in there uh yeah we, we might not see a try next <laughs> from dante okay he's taking the safety door okay 
He might actually take an intentional death for the health refill then. Heart, there's a full heart. Nice uh, laser skips here from Dante. He's going for it. Wow. Okay, two items left side. There's the compass. I feel like you got to go back, right? Because then you're, because after this, you're just going pendants. I mean, I or would. Terrible crystals. That was really touch and go for Dante. <laughs> yeah, that that pokey was really close. He really wanted to hug Dante there. All right, try next. One, two, three. There's the one, two. All right, down to the fire rod now. Simultaneous boss fights, no less. Yeah. Annoyingly, you can't switch uh, your Y item uh, oh, no. while a head's exploding. Oh no. I'm sweating here. And he's gotta, the problem is he's gotta be careful because he's gotta preserve his magic. He can't take a hit. He's got one more shot. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> and she still needs to get five <laughs> hammer hits on, on the body here. Yeah, that's the easy part, let's just say that, compared to Relatively what was speaking. there. Yeah. Oh, did I want to clink? Oh, missed! <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, guys, she got it. She got it. There we go. Nice. Easy Moment of peasy. truth here. Yeah, what do we got? A heart Vanilla. container. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. Clutch, though. Very clutch. And meanwhile, we've got a uh, an Argus fight finishing up here on GGW side. Gets 300 bucks. Is he going back in? I think you got to go back in, right? Otherwise, you're choosing... Yeah. I, I uh, wonder if Dante might actually um, do left side right off the bat because he's multiple items from go mode and... Um, you have the diver down advantage if you go straight there. He's leaving. Wow. <laughs> He's leaving. But what does he have? More, I mean, you get Ice Palace, right? Yeah, That's I guess Ice logic. and Logic and Smith Chain. He's gonna do. He's gonna do desert here. This makes sense. Is it a crystal oh, chat's pointing yeah. out Dante never actually did do Agena. He was in such a hurry to nope out of desert. Okay. So that's interesting. Okay, I think he clears desert here. I think he just finishes it while he's here. So you think he does the boss even after getting to it? Yeah, I think so. And then he could do a Gina, right? Yeah, it puts you in a better position for doing that. Dante also didn't have the boots when he was in Desert, if I recall. Um, I can't remember, actually. Oh, he did, right. He had. He did, never mind. Right, because the book was in Hypecase, it was, was already in yep. Dark World. Yeah, never mind. No, well, definitely nerve-wracking. One thing about this series, though, we are going to have a uh, repeat league champion, uh, no matter who wins, because either Dante or Hitsu gets um, oh, right. another round of swag. All 
All right, so he's walking out. All right, this is probably to kill Lanmo. Maybe just to check Agina. I'm not sure. You wouldn't go out this side if you're just checking Agina. So we're looking for a bow. We're looking for flippers. It's gonna be Ice Palace, right? TR gives you the flippers, not for Swamp, but to, I mean, technically for Swamp because you need it, but for Ice Palace to do, get the flute or something. So basically when these boss fights are over, GGW will only be up by a back of desert. That, that one crystal. Uh, that yeah, he also did the water checks. Um, the water, well, the water just fall. the waterfall. Did Dante do Ether Tablet? No, I don't think so. So I think, yeah, it's it's. Well, and then there are you know all the checks that Dante's done that GGW has. Right, on. right. I got the Smith Chain. Smith Chain's a possibility, <laughs> right? Uh, at this point, it's for GGW. It's literally just the two items from Smith and Purple Chest. Nice hammer strats from GGW yeah. as he's out of magic. Nicely done. Picks up his map. I guess Crystal here. Crystal number five just needs to finish Eastern and, and Meyer. Unfortunately, so with Dante both. out of magic, um, Dante, you're out of magic. <laughs> Wait for it, though. going to be a slightly longer phase two. Yeah. Need four hammer hits here. Let me ask chat this. Do you like pendant pod over pendant ice? If you're either one of these runners. Drazio asks you the same thing. Which one do you like more? Um, Pendant ice just because you can clear it. What we got, let's see, we got ice, ice, ice palace, pod. Dante also ignoring left side swamp. IP, Interesting. Yeah, he's bow. going straight for ice. Yeah, that makes sense. Unless I he's planning that, to do... The, well, he'll probably do the flipper checks after ice. Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to see a little bit of a, a meet up here. Got a couple of pods, but it looks like almost everyone is, uh, is agreeing on the ice play here. Also, we never did see the mushroom turn in. Oh, right. Yeah, that's never anything. But, you know, depending what other off checks they each do that the others already done, um, things could change. But right yeah, now, I mean, GGW yeah. really is just up the back of Desert. Right, right. I don't think... I mean, we're going to find progression here, right? I, I'm pretty sure we're going to find progression here. A uh, nice early key do, also helps with the routing. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Now, this one is, a, a you know, the green pendant, so you're probably going to want to kill Cold Star unless... If you get bow or flute, you will immediately leave, right? I'm, I'm a little surprised Dante is actually hitting the switch here, though. Yeah, I'm not, I don't agree with hitting the switch when you're full clearing. Yeah, and like GGW is now doing that. Yeah, there's a very off chance that you get three items quickly and the big key is deep and you want to be cold stare for green pendant, but pretty low chance. Chat reminding us, of course, there's also Pyramid Legend Catfish that neither runners had occasion sure. to Sure, yeah. First item is 20 rupees, I believe. Yep. Uh, there's our big key. Different routing, okay.
There's the bow. And GGW continues. Yeah, it's going to, I mean, it's one more check right here, right? You, I leave. Just leave. He wants the third item. But he's going straight for Cold Stare to get it. Wow, the third item is a nice tea. It's uh, the shovel. Oh, interesting. So if you're Dampty, then do, do you go vanilla? to Cold Stare for the green pendant? Or... We're going to get a vanilla? Vanilla flute? <laughs> that could be interesting. I mean, Dante's had a lot of outs that GGW has given him. They just haven't come to anything. I'm surprised GGW is continuing on here. Dante taking a moment to count items. Realize he has all three. Yeah, uh, Chad asking about silvers. In this mode, uh, the bow comes preloaded with the silvers. Oh, Dante, he's gone. Interesting. Um, so I mean, he had opposite. Bombos, it wasn't a magic issue, so we'll see yeah. if Green Pendant has anything, or if Shovel has anything, because either of these runners could put the game away if Green Pendant or Shovel beat anything. Yeah. But with that bow, you got to do Eastern. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's the, the green pendant. I just sometimes, I, it's like I cannot predict who does what. I really Dan, thought we would have flipped it. going to open pod just to open pod here. I mean, that's got to have our flu, right? <laughs> yeah, but you got to do Eastern first. I mean, you open pod and mirror and then see what Eastern has before you do anything else. GGW is doing Zora checks. Wow, it's like it... It really feels like the two runners switch controllers about an hour in, or 45 minutes in. Yeah, suddenly Dante's making all the skips. <laughs> yeah, what and now GGW is these one-off. It's super weird. He's also really orphaning Catfish by doing the Zora check this way. I just don't know why he killed Cold Star. I just, I, that I didn't understand at all. Well, I mean, he will go by Saha because he's going to do Eastern at some point. I know, but why not? If you're going that, why not do Ice-T as well? I don't know. It just seems really weird. Okay, nothing in Zora area. I mean, Green Pendant and uh, as our flute, it's, uh, it's GGW's race. If the flute is vanilla, it's uh, Dante's race. If the flute is just in Eastern here, then it's going to be really close. Because, uh, you know, Dante's made up some time. Now check the green pendant first. <sighs> yeah, flutes on Saha or flutes vanilla, then that's game. Oh, Dante finally has a potion. That's good. He's been kind of low on safeties this game. All right, so he's gonna, he is gonna check. He's gonna check the green pendant here. He's gonna mirror and turn the green pendant. You have to. Yeah, there's the mirror. I didn't think he was uh, going to pod though. I guess if it's not an Eastern, then you just immediately go into pod. <laughs> A bug net. Well, that would make right. Aga too easier, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Discussed. Shoutouts to Gamma Chew. Is. Was that okay, the three items? 50, or? It looks like no, there's a 50 50. And, uh, okay, well, Dante knows that GGW takes the 50 50 this way, and just yeah. for that, he won't. But yeah. normally, he takes this 50 50, so Dante can feel pretty safe. Maybe just go him. pod first, play be a giant papega, and just go right. <laughs> All right, if it's on Armos Knights, we have a, a really close race. If it's not, and we're still searching. I 
guess you it search. Um, I'm for sure. I guess you search pod next. You're here. It's got a lot of items. Okay. Well, one it one the fifty fifty. Yeah. Watch GGW not take it this time. a prediction in chat about whether uh, Meyer is also going to be Bombos or whether we're going to need to go on a medallion hunt. Mm. Where do you think the flute is? Is it here? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of thinking vanilla flute after you said it. I know that's horrible. <laughs> Yeah, it's really, yeah, it's really bad mushroom. for GW. Mushroom would be really funny. Nice hover. Like, yeah. Oh, he almost had it. Yeah. That's basically the hardest hover in the game that you would wow. normally see. I, seriously, did someone take? Did they switch? Did they agree to flip controllers at like the fifty-five minute mark? Because here, GGW is doing the doing <laughs> the fifty-fifty. I've never seen GGW take this fifty-fifty. <laughs> I just once he once he picked up the the bow and then just continued on. It just didn't feel the same anymore. That that said, since um the vanilla big key chest was compass, we were gonna wind up there anyway. And now we know that there are two small keys on the right side. All right, so we have zero keys in hand. I wasn't paying full attention to the front. Yeah, it was a hard container and a compass were the two items okay. in the front. These are two small keys. Two smalls, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of really bad spots for the flute to be in. Smith chain, catfish, uh, mushroom. There's a lot that we haven't seen. Uh, spike cave. I really wish I understood how that trick works where you lay a Samaria block over the edge and can then run through oh, the... Oh, yeah, dash it. Um, it's just magic. Tiles. Hyrulean magic. All right, there's Eastern done for GGW with his six crystal. Man, pod is empty. I mean, we've only gotten one item so far. Oh no, we got one here in the turtle room. Oh no, that was a... <laughs> okay, no, so wait a minute. Everything else is items, right? Yeah, three items and the item on the boss. I think so. Yeah, because there was a compass yeah. in the front, right? Right, we've seen map and compass and we know there are no keys in here. So all items. 20 bucks. We have the flu. There's That's the flu. Potential go mode. You, you gotta activate it and see if you're in go mode. So it's like that foe all dungeons, right? Where you have to uh, you have to do turtle rock to get the flippers, ice palace to get the bow, and pod to, to get the, the flute. All right, Jossie. Yeah, Bombos? well, I, I can see Dante's, uh, Dante's teammate, Eriror, is sweating in chat there because what if Meyer Medallion was sitting in the big chest? But honestly, given the lack of medallions, I think it is just going to be Bombos and this is go mode. I mean, it's, uh, it's, we have a race because, you know, Dante still has to do the back of Desert, which has a cutscene. It's not long, but 
It's also not free, so... Or else the key's under the doormat, as it has a habit of being. Let's take a look. He's got Bombos out. It is Quake! Oh, no. Oh, no. How much for go that, mode? <laughs> that just means... Keep checking. Well, there went my points. It's going to be right here. Nope. Oh, boy. We've got a lot to go here. Unless it's right here. It is not. Nope. I mean, if GGW checks the big chest, and Quake is in the big chest, but really, what are the odds of oh, that? No. Seeing a lot big of spot coming up. Dig Chat, spot is Chat coming up. reminding us there's always left side swamp. Left side swamp, we got the mushroom turn in. There's, there's still a, a bunch of... Yeah, mushroom turn is now a lot easier with the flute. Catfish. Pyramid Ledge. We still haven't seen friggin' Pyramid Ledge. Uh, not the big spot. Where's Dante going? Is he... Is this left, side, left swamp? side swamp? This could be Pyramid Catfish. I mean, there is another item on Helma still as well. Yeah. I imagine both of our runners are gonna. GGW thinks about leaving. Uh, yeah, he, he almost did. I'm gonna open this chest. 20 it's bucks. Nothing. Sigh of relief from the pugs. Yeah, so what have we not seen? Uh, left Side Swamp, obviously. Helma King. Yeah. What? Smith and Dante's Purple route. Chest. This is going to be, Dante's going to be able to do all the water checks as, as well with Catfish, so that's nice. It's not the ledge. Smith, it's going to be Smith Chain, right? Probably. What is GGW going to do when he finds out that it's, that it's Quake and he doesn't have it? I have no idea. This is also the nice swaggy way to do the mushroom turn in because you can mirror bonk. Or you skip the mushroom just like Dante's teammate did. Oh, no, he <laughs> oh, he's remembered. going back. He's <laughs> going back. Flashbacks. Flashbacks. <laughs> oh, and look at GW's doing it right now. Wow. Oh, and it's that Quake! Was Holy smokes! The mushroom smokes. that we've had since forever! Oh, wow. So, All that right. gives GGW an edge by the back of desert. Yeah, yep. How, how, that mushroom was in blind sight, so that was a sphere two Quake. Uh, wow. Here we go. I mean, GGW's ahead, but we still have, you know, GT routing, we still have execution, we still have the uh, Aga 2 fight, which, you know, GGW does have the uh, the uh, the bug net for. Though Dante's done so much swordless, I, 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 I'm not expecting him to miss the beat when it comes to, to Hammer Aga. Honestly, if you can do Hammer Aga, it's faster just because the hammer is faster to swing. The bug net is clean. It makes it so much easier. I know GGW's happy to see that. Yeah, this is crazy. Both of them having a bit of a struggle here in Meyer 2. Yeah, you get so used to doing it the NMG way that it's like, once you have to do it this way, it's everything that you know just kind of goes out the window and you start freaking out a little bit. Fortunately, they have silvers because of the bow. There's hey. ether. <laughs> Full coin collection. Yeah.
It is not a Godmire. I kind of just want the key to be vanilla so that we have less variance. Like, I, I just want to see some... Because Dante's execution is super clean. Um, I want to see an execution race. Yeah, that, then it's just who has less nerves. <laughs> right. Like, obviously, we've seen GGW have a, a, a bit of uh, a problem there with... Uh, with the try next step and everything, but vanilla compass. So we're going to the lobby. GGW is not even checking the compass chest and going straight to the lobby. And that is the big key. Wow! Of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. Room for room here. Of course, GGW is going to be the first one up the mountain because after this, Dante has to mirror and do land. Right, right. I mean, sometimes it just feels like you're you're destined to win these things, right? And the way GGW's ran in these playoffs, it's just gone his way. Even though this will be by far his longest race, these playoffs. I mean, literally, as of... Now, this is GGW's longest race this playoffs. Wow. And in fact, since like, I don't even know when, he's had so many jet seeds. Yeah, I want to re-roll of those right, seeds that he had to face Gamma with. I mean, both of them had pendant oh. Meyer and TR. Yeah, he got GGW's spooky, done. GGW did not. Yeah, it's cost him about 10, 15 seconds, maybe. Here we go. There's crystal number six for uh, DNT. Uh, GGW is about to pick up crystal number seven. We're going to play a little a big key guessing game. But of course, with me and comms, we're not doing numbers. At least I'm not doing numbers. So I'd like to see locations, specific locations as to where the GT big key is going to be. Well, you know, you don't my know favorite locations. Is, go ahead. You know, my favorite is bottom left rando room. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give a rundown of the locations in case you don't know real quick. Uh, so when you go in, if you head to the right, you have two checks at Hope Room. You continue, you got Tile Room. You continue on, you've got four checks in Compass Room. I'm going to see specific checks. Top left of Compass Room. Uh, if you go left, you got the Torch. Then you've got four checks in Stealthus Room. You've got the Map Chest. You've got the Fire Snake Room. you got Rando Room with four checks. Uh, after that, you have Bob's Chest. Uh, and then the three vanilla locations. So, get your guesses in chat. If someone gets the exact location of where the big key is, I'll throw them a gift. But this is definitely GGW's race to lose here. Can GT routing and execution save the pugs and dainty today? So you say, I'm sorry, which room did you say? Oh, I, I always go bottom left rando room, just on principle. Bottom left rando room. I'll go top left rando room. Oh, okay. Here, I thought you were going to the compass room. <laughs> <laughs> so about a minute difference between these runners, I would say. Maybe slightly more. But that's well within GT routing. Oh, for sure. This race is not over. Also, GGW's tight on arrows, as chat's pointing out. Could make things interesting because he's need he's gonna need to kill the gorillas on the climb. Oh, can this come down to you? Oh no, Dandy getting bullied. Oh, stupid dead rocks, the worst. And All right, here we go. You know, when it's this close, like 
every little decision makes a difference, whether it's Dante doing Harrow Basement yeah. or GGW doing um, Eastern Big Key Chest. All right, Hope Room right, no. Hope Room left, yes. Why? <laughs> oh my goodness. Is Dante gonna go left? Does he usually DM route? He does. All right, chat. Who said Hope Room left first? Let me know. Oh, man. Here we go. It's a climb. Uh, Lackeys said Hope Room left. I'm just scrolling through stuff. Who did? Lackeys. All right. Mimics is finished. DNT heading in. He's going left. Is there anything in Hope or in Stealth's room that can help him? Powder? Powder, yeah. I mean, Gio does have some, some potions here. Oh, she's I mean, the, the extra keys will save him having to beat Mini Helmas in the Mini Helma yeah. room. He is. He's using the potion now. All right, there's the big key for Dante. Up he goes, 20, uh, 56 is when he picks up the big key. Right, and as we've discussed before, like, ooh, misses that first, misses two shots on land Oh, mode. man. That's the last arrow, too. He needs, some, he needs to make sure he picks up those arrows. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were saying on his way in that that could uh, make a difference. I mean, that's He's a burning through three his cycle? Oh, uh, no, that's, that's a, wow. All right, make sure you pick up the yeah, magic, pick up the uh, arrows. Okay, there. there are five arrows, so as long as he doesn't use any arrows and, you know, isn't missing silver shots on Ganon, he should be fine. All right, the gauntlet for Dante into Wizrobes 2 for GGW. Whoever uh, won the G the uh, big key guessing can post in chat so I can get you your gift sub. As best I could see, it was Lackey's. Uh, that that okay. was as far as Twitch chat would let me scroll back. Cool. Yeah, uh, GGW getting bullied a little bit. You know, doesn't play a lot of Swordless. I think... Uh... Oh, to, an to answer something in chat, Dante has voluntarily switched from Silvers to Wooden because they fire faster. Mm, uh, he can switch smart. back to Silvers anytime. Someone that's done a lot of Swordless and, and uh, a lot of cross keys too. Can't he doing cross keys? Well, he used to back in the day. GGW does a fair amount of cross keys. Oh, Dandy missing as well. Did he make it up though? Oh, he's got there as well. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. So he's going to get a three cycle as well. I'm helping him make up any time. Wow. I, I'm surprised, to be honest. All right, mold him too. Um.
All right, moment of truth. This is where it gets tough. How practiced are you with your your aga patterns and uh, the bug net here? Man, bug net honestly coming in really nice here. And yeah, wow, that was fast. Really nice. Yeah, really nicely done. So Danthe does get to skip the mini helmets there, but he is several rooms behind. All right. I mean, it's not over. He still has to do Hammer Ganon. So uh, let's get it on. Danty coming up on Moldorm 2. Might just hover this, and that's what he's going to do. Yeah. Saves time if you get a first try. Which he does. Clean hover. Now, now we see how each runner's Hammer Ganon is. All right, here we go. 12 hits with the hammer, just like the Tempered Sword. You treat it. I mean, it does temperature damage, so that's what it's going to do here. Nice spot. Can he get to 12? Can he get to phase 2? He doesn't. Oh, man. that was That's unfortunate. That would have been a great spot for phase 2. Dante only gets a single there. That set up. Ooh, nice yeah, but double look at with those, the hammer. Yeah, all those hammer hits are, are coming in real nice. You can tell Dante's done this. Was that a, no, that was a look, triple hit. Okay. Because if it were, then Aga would have gone down. Yeah, looked really clean, though. All right, are we on, are still on to phase two? Yeah, what is this, a three cycle? Very nice execution there with the... Uh, uh, hook shot to avoid taking damage and yeah, being right I back in there on the hammer. Good. Watch out. All right, yeah. on to phase three. That's the tough spot. Getting out of the way right before the tiles collapse. <laughs> yeah, that would be bad. <laughs> that would have been bad. All right. How many warps? Dante in to, G to Ganon now. All right, just one more from GGW. All right, there it is. Now four silver arrows. He's got 12. I mean, you're, I don't even know if you really care about Torch Glitch at this point. I but was going to say, like, gonna... in Swordless, you still want it because you never know. But And he didn't even try for a double there. Yeah, and Dante's already through phase two. There's a single. I mean, this is a really slow phase four from GGW. Yeah. Dante's halfway through phase three. Can you get a double here? You can. There it is. Get your yeah, GG's in chat for OK Dudes and Ganon's Gone Wild as they are going to win this race and be crowned league champions. And yeah, GGW finishing with a time of 127.23. Your league champion, Ganon's Gone Wild, and the OK Dudes taking down the monster team that is the Bugs. And just shortly after that, Dante finishing up as well. Get your GGs in chat for Dante as well. And the Pugs. What a race. Wow, the, those last two games decided, as Dante crosses at 127.53, those last two games decided by a total combined of a minute 12. Wow. Which could have just as easily made the Pugs champions. Um, but but we, uh, we are joined by our league champion. How's it feel, man? GGW. Uh, thanks, You're a champion, John. dude. You finally did something. Yeah, actually, not even kidding. Like, this is <laughs> yeah. by far the best tournament performance I've ever had. Didn't get knocked out in the first round. Didn't last locate a Gina Cave, you know, it's pretty cool. And you, I mean, it, you had to go through a murderer's row of, of runners, you know, uh, having to beat both uh, GGW and Dante twice. That's uh, Yeah, I think by boxing rules, that makes me the 2021 main tournament champion. <laughs> right, yeah, it takes takes the crown. Uh, we also joined by Dante, GG's dude. Yeah, GG, man. Dante, you there? 
He's a lot. He's lost for words. I understand. Oh my bad. I had the mute button press. GG. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's start with GGW. You know, uh, long season, lots of different modes. Huh. Uh, you have uh, hits you in, in in Telethar. You come together. You form the OK dudes. And, and you and you take it all down. How, how's he, how you feeling? How you feeling about the race? What'd you think about the seed? Uh, so yeah, I mean, it was, it was a long season. Uh, I mean, anytime you go deep in a tournament, it just is very, very long and it starts to kind of wear you down because these games are really stressful towards the end and everyone's really good. So it's just super stressful. Um, but yeah, my teammates, you know, Hitsu basically undefeated this season. He lost the race where he was sick, so he couldn't play it. Telethar stepped up big time as well. A lot of wins, really good record. The guys, only really, most people probably know who he was a year ago. He's just like super smart, really knowledgeable about the game. So yeah, really good teammates that I had this year. So wouldn't be here without them either. Uh, so yeah, the seed. Um, I think every pendant dungeon had an item. And yep. uh, yep. so that was interesting. Uh, and uh I don't know. I, I I was making a couple mistakes here and there because again, I'm just super stressed out and kind of nervous. So, mm -hmm. yeah, um, I mean, the nerves on both of you. Yeah, yeah. nerves showed with like the the Trinex fight. And did you realize you skipped the big chest in in Heron? <laughs> After I didn't get a small key, and I looked at my like the, the key counter, and I'm like, something doesn't add up here. And then I realized what had happened. I just I was so sure that I was going to get like a hair basement big key and there is going to be an item. I'm just like thinking about all the ways the seed can screw me. And then I just wasn't paying attention. So that was, and then was after fun. the, yeah, after the, the bow, you continued on, but you didn't, you played the 50, 50 there. Yeah. Uh, what was kind of the thinking behind that? And then you didn't play the 50, 50 in Eastern, which surprised <laughs> both me and, me and Drazi. Yeah. So with with ice, I'm just like if I get two items, like I know I guarantee one item on the green pen. If I get two items for the price of one, that's great. Um, and then it's green pen turns on the way to to pod, which is where I'm going next. So it's not really that bad to do, I guess. And it is pretty late logically in the in the in the sphere logic or whatever. So you know, I felt like I had to had to probably do it there. And then in Eastern, at that point, I really only had Pod Eastern left as, as checks that I felt really that I had a good shot of winning if it was there. So I just was like, I'm just going to 100%. I skipped this a bunch of times this season. And how dumb will I feel if I die or if I, if I lose to, to this? <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. Given how close and, the race was, I probably should have skipped it. Yeah. And then also you left and did like the Zora checks, which just surprised me. Uh, the big one, though, that kept you in the race was that mushroom turn in was that to go get potions or was that like <laughs> yeah i thought i used a potion somewhere and uh so i'm like let's just go get a potion before i have to go like do all these dungeons and then uh it's like oh i might as well just turn the mushroom just in case so yeah that ended up working out for you and, and then with dante uh you I mean, almost you ran right by it and then remembered what happened <laughs> to your teammate <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Dante, you don't need any validation. You're a, league, uh, a tournament champion, a league champion. You know, you've been here, done this a million times. Uh, so I'd like, like to hear some of your thoughts about the race. But the mushroom turn in, we see you, again, as Jossie said, walk right past it very similarly uh, to your teammate uh, in the last race. What was kind of going on in your mind then? Uh, well, you know, first of all, we give credit to the OK dudes. A uh, heck of a team. Uh, you know, the word choked is overused in sports. Uh, and we lost ball games, so you know we lost the finals. We ran into a team at this time that was obviously better than us, so we give them credit, and uh, we don't take anything away from that at this point. Well, thanks, man. GG, dude. You guys are honestly an extremely scary team, so it means a lot to be able to beat you guys. Yeah, GG, and you know, no, no matter like whatever, uh, no matter what, you're always never ready for your season to end. You know, whether it ends in the regular season or in the first round, so. Uh, you know, it's always a shock, you know, especially in the playoffs when it comes to an end. Uh, you can never really, you know, predict it. But uh, obviously at this point, if you don't win the championship, no matter what, if it's in game four or game five, you're going to be highly disappointed. Um, so obviously in the midst of losing, you know, we feel it. Uh, we'll probably feel it more tomorrow. Um, I think the more we think about it and how close an opportunity we had, it'll burn inside of us as competitors. And at the end of the day, 
uh, it'll drive us to get back in this position again. So uh, we understand our goal was to win the championship. Uh, we weren't able to accomplish that in year one, uh, but this ain't the end of the pugs. Uh, and we'll use this motivation uh, and come back and try and do it again. So let me ask you uh, a couple questions about the seed overall, Dante. You you played very thoroughly. Did you plan on altering your, your play style at all when you when you were racing GGW? Or are you just going to I'm going to play it? How, how oh, I'm man. Play it? Um, thanks for putting up with that. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I, um, I, I altered the way I play in game our game one. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, GGW just seems to be line progression, uh, you know, and, and he's good at the game. So it's like a deadly duo. Uh, so like, uh, you know, I just, I, I just told myself, just play this straight up. Like you'd play it if you were just doing this, like on stream yeah. casually and, you know, just see what happens. So uh, I did feel kind of bad about the boots. I thought about going into there before Eastern, but I was really low on bombs, um, yeah. you know, because those were available. I'm not sure what our difference was there. And I was very, uh, I think I was a little too thorough, obviously. Um, I really debated just kind of laying it on the line when I got flippers in TR and just say, you know, get out of there and then doing the whole the whole fight i was like okay well if we're committed to this something i just i need something here potentially uh to make it not like a time sink so ended up being a time sink um and then the, you know i had some indecisiveness there in in ice when i got that last item and i was like eh, just it's a great another item you're going there now anyway um you know it was just i i had like a little bit of indecisiveness and honestly like i i was kind of kicking myself when I got Quake because mm -hmm. when I got the flute, uh, I was like, go to Meyer, And if it's not there, first thing you need to do is turn in the mushroom and then go ahead and get another safety just in case. Uh, and then I spaced out and was like, well, you did get that shovel in ice. So we could just loop everything together. And then in my head, I was like, I've done mushroom. And uh, thanks, little green square on the tracker, because <laughs> I was like, Oh my God, I'm an idiot. I thought about doing it. I didn't actually do it. And uh, I was like, if this is here, like that's going to just be kind of funny. Um, as far as was. the series goes, it was. Yeah. So I was like, all right, well, um, I, I looked at race time at that point. I was like, well, he didn't God route this, so he's not done. And, um, you know, just kind of played things out at that point. I mean, I, I was a little bummed the key was where it was. Uh, I was bummed about getting dead rocked on the mountain, you know, especially yeah. seeing the time difference, just like all those tiny things you kind of think about is like, you know, when you when you get at this level, you, you can probably tack on like, here's a second, there's a, you know, two or three seconds. So, um, you know, it, it, that's, that's just the way she goes. So uh, I'm obviously disappointed, but at the same time, sure. you know, like, uh, you know, it, it's 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 been a great ride. I. You know, the way we were playing at some points, I especially me, I didn't really think we'd get here <laughs> So uh, to the finals. So, um, yeah, I am uh, you know, just happy. Happy we had a, as, as good of a ride as we did. Uh, yeah, I mean, in the in the midst of defeat, it's hard to look look back and say uh, it was successful. Both teams made it to the finals and it's not easy to do. Uh, you know, it's hard to make it here and to play as well as you guys did. and. Uh, these are super stressful races. We saw nerves on both ends, you know, like Landmo a lot of two really for... good races too in the whole series leading up here. Sure, for sure. But like things like Landmo two, where you know most of the time, like ninety nine percent of the time, you two hit Landmo two, you know, one cycle, no problem. And you guys both had struggles, right? Like nerves happen. Nerves are real. And, and as silly as this game is, there's a lot in line. So uh, take. Uh, take solace in the fact that you guys are both uh, both really excellent runners and, and both excellent teams and uh, yeah, nothing to be ashamed of here. Yeah, uh, GG's again. Um, congrats to my teammates. Yeah, now you can uh, join me in retirement. I, I'm not saying I'm going to retire, but I probably am going to take a little break. <laughs> yeah, the tournament's a long, long, uh, a long tournament, so and of, of course, speaking of your teammates, we, we should shout them out. Like Telethar, relatively new to the scene, um, really good cross keys player, first time in league. Uh, you, you guys just kind of picked him up this season, even. Uh, he is a champion. 
Yeah, so I told Hitsu and Zero Rush I didn't want to play this season, and then Hitsu went and recruited Telthar, and then he's like begged me to come play. He's like, everyone else has a team, so that's what happened. Uh, and meanwhile, yeah, Hitsu out. has now won three out of five league seasons. <laughs> I forgot time about to, that. Yeah, time to ban that dude. <laughs> yeah, can you <laughs> please nerf Hitsu? <laughs> uh, and then, of course, Pugs, right? Everyone has heard of uh, heard of the Pugs. I haven't actually. Who are these guys? Sure, yeah. new, newer runners, new, new to the new to the tournament. Old I think washed up gamers. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, do you guys league admins want to say anything, or are we good to go? What do we want to do? Yeah, I, I mean, I guess we should, you know, give the whole league thank yous and everything. Um, you know. On behalf of myself and Dante, and also uh, Relkin and Amareth, um, congratulations to the OK Dudes. Um, thanks, of course, to everyone who helped out in League this season. Um, whether you played, whether you were calm, tracker, restreamer, um, our mod crew, who's been great, um, our bot overlords, T Sigma and Synac, without whom the League could not exist in its uh, current form. I'll just say that much. Um, and my COCOM fear agent, without whom the League would not exist, period. Um, You're, welcome. You're welcome, everyone. Dante, am I missing anything here that I should be talking about? Um, as far as the admin side, I think you're uh, you're good to go. Uh, I would I would like to uh, bless that we got GGW to play Swordless this season. It worked out really great. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but no, nah, uh, yeah, thanks to all the volunteers. It was you know it, it's been a blast. We still got races. Like if you're still here hanging out and you're thinking it's over. Keep your eyes peeled, like Drossy pinged about it. There's two races tomorrow that could come to an end. It may go to a game four uh, for the Open League. Um, so this is going to be some exciting matches there to uh, to be right here on this channel. So don't uh, don't forget to be here for that. Uh, but yeah, thanks Fear, thanks Admin Team, thanks Mod Team. You guys are great. Um, you know, and thanks to the players. Obviously, the players uh, we can't do it without them. So really do appreciate it. And. Also, just to put in a plug, um, the main tournament is going to be coming up in a couple months. They don't have a date, but it will be starting at some point this spring. So keep your eyes peeled for an announcement on that. Are you guys announcing League Season 6 here, too? <laughs> It'll happen eventually. All right. I think that's it. Uh, GG's again to all the runners. Uh, congratulations to the OK Dudes. Congratulations to the Pugs as well. Second place is nothing to be uh, ashamed about. And uh, Jossie, thanks for, for letting me do this. Yeah, th thanks for suggesting that we do this together. A uh, good way to close out the Invitational season here. Um, yeah. And, oh, shout oh, out yeah. Our so what's up, our, what's up yeah. our tracker? Uh, yep, we'd for be sure. Completely remiss without mentioning him. Yep. Big shout out to trackers. In general, all right. So that's going to do it for the Invitational League. Um, Open League still needs a current champion, and they got four new teams coming into the Invitational for Season Six. Pretty exciting. Yep. Um, and yeah, so I guess the next thing is just tune in tomorrow right here on uh, Speed Gaming at two ten p.m. Eastern for uh, the next two games in the Open League Finals. That's going to do it. Bye, everyone. <laughs>